दिया तो ऑनलाइन कंटेंट साइट पेमेंट गेट वेज ये कंटेंट साइट इज लिमिटेड टू दोर्शन ऑफ हैविंग डिफरेंट पेजेस एंड हैविंग डिफरेंट इंफॉर्मेशन दी फुल ड्यूप्लेस इंटरेक्शन डजेंट हैपन दिस वर्ड इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग दिस ड्यूप्लेक्स फुल ड्यूप्लेक्स हाउ ड्यूप्लेक्स दिस इज बेसिकली रिलेटेड टू दी कंसेप्ट uh of telecommunications but i'm using it right now just to have a little clarity and to view it the digital world into the, that's fair uh for any communication what happens at the end of the day it's a communication happening right i'm looking if i'm a visitor to a site and there is somebody who has made this site or want me to see that site there is a communication happening if not real time but it's happening in a communication i'll yes i've got all the answers i'll just reply one by one on that uh for communication there are two ways of uh communication a communication which is precisely one sided which has no interaction from the other side is called half duplex there is no duplicate duplex fundamental being involved and the communication which is happening from both the sides both the sides can in, people can interact it is full duplex communication so print ad is a half duplex communication a content based site is a half duplex communication right but it is not happening on the platform a e-commerce site is a full duplex communication you are receiving my inputs you are also acting on it when you go to a payment gateway actually it becomes tri party communication because your bank is involved or a mediator gateway is involved then a third party is involved where the payment has been made on the, on the bank account so it's a it's a full duplex communication which goes and there are main various parties which are interacting so this is one thing uh, which is about e-commerce sites i like to term them as a retail based site where you are where you're doing a little selling on that right uh content based then there are blogs blogs uh your blog and pages are different website pages and blogs are different blogs is where you have the where, where you have the as far of dividing into different categories more of an article writing kind of thing you can have blog into your uh, website where there are different pages as well as uh, blogs so you can have both the things or you can have a website which is in, with with that there is no blog fundamental happening but there are only website pages and it is either can be a content based or an e-commerce based or can be a third way of doing it yes fadul is saying transfer and transactions of money with money is yes then there are uh in even in e-commerce there are further divisions i guess we have discussed in between i'm just discussing very fast so that for all those guys who are new to it can join it uh so in e-commerce there are different types of site the sites which are only a marketplace uh ebay is the prime example also in india they were very very early to to start the trend but unfortunately the guys like amazon flipkart and others have picked it up uh why they picked it up i'll let you know and why ebay also lagging behind i'll let you know uh the marketplace sites are those who who give a platform who give an it way of transact transactions and they give you a platform for different sellers and buyers who are sitting at different locations to buy and sell from each other this is what a marketplace site is so they do not sell their own product they do not do that but eBay has adopted the very very common model which they were doing in US and they have adopted in India and have not deliberately done some groundwork behind it uh there they do not brought themselves into the tran- into the ground activities of and arranging the logistics on behalf of the seller keeping a stock inventory on behalf of the seller opening up warehouses so they and what about the payment gateway cod is a good invention which happened in india i mean it was there earlier but it was not of a great focus but cod is india's main product which has brought into e-commerce which is cash on deliveries so they have adopted a they, they were very it specific and not the on ground spe- specific because 
the internet literacy rate in us is quite different from what is in india and people are not very receptive rather receptive to join e-commerce a few months uh, a few years back location sure you can just contact the admin for that please uh, now this is the reason uh, ebay lit lagged a little uh, behind and then there comes uh, and if you have your own product your own website uh, to sell those product on and you're selling the products which are your own made uh, are called own sell sites or i like to term this as own sell sites uh, like for example jabang was doing it uh, till now from the last year they have adopted a little marketplace model as well but there are different host of sites which are selling only their products they bought it and they're selling it they're not doing like chroma tata chroma's website if you go into that you can buy from there so they they what what's happening over there is uh they bought the product and then they're selling it uh but for marketplaces there are different sellers and there are different buyers who come onto it and buy it like for example amazon flipkart and all that and then there are aggregators what does aggregators do they push it forward they push it forward uh ola is the aggregator on mobile uh mobile apps and there are different aggregators into it then there are affiliate sites I've given an example of yebhi.com. Uh, I'd like to see if I can open it right now. Like now, this looks like an e-commerce site. At at the end of the day, they can say themselves to be an e-commerce site. but they are doing nothing more than only doing an affiliate marketing what they're doing is like for example you you want this or let's say let's go to okay you want this t-shirt right you just went into it and you went into it no Mm, you want to do yeah so you are at a yeb site you like the jeans you want to buy it let's get that and you see you are landed into jabong's page so at the end of the day everything is happening on jabong's thing even the payment is happening on the jabong uh, gateway so yeb is just a fa- a facet it is nothing more than a facet so it's an affiliate what happens is if i go and buy this any product from here till the time i have not refreshed the cookies from my browser uh they they technically know that i have been brought by yeb to jabong and jabong will pay a commission of whatever purchase i'll make uh on on jabong to yeb so yeb becomes an affiliate site so what they are doing is The, your way of presenting the affiliate site depend upon yourself you can give it an e-commerce look if in case you want to be an affiliate for an e-commerce site you can just give a different links you can be a blogging site and then put a link over it you want to do a write up over there and then put a link for people to buy that so you you can be a classified site like just dial and all that uh but so there are different th- this is also one of the section like you can have an affiliate site you can have your business into that where you bring traffic for other other websites and if they are routed through you and they make the actual transaction you will be paid commission for that so people are running a great deal of business on that too right so everybody understood till here what can be a different websites All right, Shubin has got. We are quite good number of uh, attendees today. I guess this is the topic which got interested rather than the other. Right? <laughs> Anyways, Babu is here. How how are you, Babu? Kiru Thikya. How is Kiru Thikya? How are you? So everybody is understanding. Kiru Thikya, are you understanding, Lokeshwar? Yeah, Sangeeta, please ask. Yeah, what is OLX? 
OLX is a classified site. They give you an advertisement option, and they are basically a listing oriented site. Uh, there are sites which are like yellow pages. पहले एक yellow pages की book आती थी या newspaper में classified page आता था. अभी भी आता है. उसको हम देखते नहीं हैं. But हम we go to this. So this is and classified based site now just making it things free they have a great number of uh, visitors to do that no uh, sangeeta this is not the whole world uh, these four types of site and this is a theoretical way of describing it you can name any site anything and this is my definition right so i'm just giving you different examples which came into my sphere and there will be whole lot hell lot of different types of site and frankly uh, you can bring your own type of site tomorrow and this is what innovation is so i'm just discussing various types of site but this is not the universe the sites can be different of different genres altogether yes kamal milega aapko video on the same link which i've shared and for all the others as well uh, i'm sharing the link once again Uh, guys there is no need of putting up a webcam uh, i request you not to log into the webcam it's not required all right so uh, fair enough kamal catch you afterwards um uh, anyways so fadhul durga everybody understanding is preeti mukesh ashalata shubhen vibhor clear till here everybody uh, are on the same page fadhul right good all right so let's now uh, try and understand to get the information of how website comes into the picture what are various stages involved into it uh, like for example For example, if we'll start with uh, the fundamental concept of how a website came into picture, what is website, and all that. Uh, I'm sorry, it is going a little slow. I'm just taking an example of here. Like for example, story needle. It's a good blog. You can just check it out. Uh, let's say this is the website, right? Here you can say this is the banner. There are blogs written over here. It these are recent posts which is showing it over here. This is the font which they have used. If I logged into StoryNeedle.com, I'll able to see this this thing. Now this is what is this? This is a website, right? So we are we are going to start with a plain slate. This is a plain slate. And take a metaphor over here, like a construction is going on. so once a construction is going on or you have an address to your house or your housing society and all that that place is called site right ki main site pe ja raha hu site pe construction ho raha hai ya main ghar ja raha hu us site par hai mera ghar and all that the same way it is website since it's on a world wide web it is called website so you have a place somewhere in the world wide web where the thing is going on and you are putting up like a building is is been put on a site a playground is put on a site that will, that is how you are putting different content over it on a site right so 
So this is how a website is. And then you have to call that site something, right? You have to call it something. A project has its name, a real estate project is name. You have your name, I have my name. So you need to call it something. You need to have some address where you need to go and just point and see whatever has been created over here. And that is called a domain name. I'm, I'm sorry it is sounding a little, uh, I mean, most of you guys must be knowing that, but this is my part to discuss it. I really want to discuss it on a good order. That's why I'm discussing it. So bear with me for all those information you already know, right? Now, in order to have that domain name, you can buy it. There are various sites who are offering domain names on a lease basis. So it, they give you one year, two year, five year kind of plans, and you can just buy it on the things. The .com extensions, the I, are relatively expensive than to regional oriented uh, things like .in. Like for example, you go to GoDaddy. This is one of the providers is offering. There are various providers who are offering. So you can go to GoDaddy and you can just. I'm sorry, I'm letting it slow right now. And you can check out for the domain you want to buy as a website address, right? So you can check out marketing blogs. And when you check it out, you'll let they let you know what is the price in case you want to buy that and whatever extensions are available and you want to buy this. <coughs> so I'm very supposed Acha, spelling is much. Spelling got wrong and that's why I was very surprised how it was. So anyways, this is available, this is available and you can buy it from them. Now this is how you book a domain. Right? Now once you book the domain, you need to put a content. This is only an address. This is nothing more than that. Now once you have that, you need to point it to somewhere in the internet world. You need to have the content which you're going to put into it be hosted somewhere and then that is called web hosting right so if in case i have one site called nickelgrover.com that nickelgrover.com has to have a host somewhere and i've been informed all you guys that oh, for all those who have subscribed will be given one uh, website from dmp site from the edwin site um have you guys got those uh, websites with you Or if in case you may not have, you probably will be getting. Yeah, Shalata, I'll ask the admin to do that. Uh, I guess in your package, you will, you all will be offered one website. So probably since I have not covered this topic right now, uh, they were probably will be waiting uh, for me to cover this topic and then they'll do that. So I'll just ask the uh, the MP admin to share that so what you get is you'll get your uh, one website each for all for all you guys right so once you get the website you have to construct it i mean the, you'll be given a basic construction and then you can just play around it you can put whatever you want to put into it once you do that uh, you have to understand that once you first you have booked a domain name now you need to have an address where it is located so it is look it must be located on some server that server can be anywhere that server can be a computer which is sitting into india into your house or it can be into some foreign foreign location mostly uh, there are good servers and web hosting services uh, which you are getting uh, from us uk australia and all those brackets the reason is it becomes a business of its own now to maintain a server to have a a, a, a virtually no downtime a good response and all that it becomes a costly affair so it is that is the reason there are different service providers who provide only web hosting onto uh, as a business and then it is further leased out so there are different sites which we can refer for web hosting and these are the sites who basically becomes aggregators and sell the web hosting space which is a physical space somewhere sitting on us on uk and a 
server room like this and they are leasing it out to us a portion of their space and that too on a duration basis like for example they lease out for a year two year five year so we need to renew it accordingly so are we clear what is domain name what is web hosting so all our content which we see is basically sitting somewhere or it is being hosted somewhere and that is called web hosting so ideally to make a site yes so ideally to make a site these are the steps you have to follow at very first you have to book a domain name then you have to take a web hosting plan on a lease from some company where you can host your content whatever you are going to do that the third thing is you have to make the graphic design of that site the fourth okay i'll, I'll just move forward in the slide as well okay this is the leasing which i was saying like you go to a food court you may have observed that there is a sitting in place in between and there are different counters where you can go so it's kind of for for food providers over there it's kind of a sharing basis but there are different who already have a enclosed environment with them and you need not to buy any sharing food court card for that and you need to go into their restaurant and buy it so that becomes a dedicated kind of hosting that is that is required when you have a huge number of transaction happening and you have a good traffic to generate so that because it becomes a relatively expensive deed for a startup uh, a share pattern is recommended right right now these are the hosting places where you can go to that now what happens <coughs> is first you have booked a domain name you have bought a uh, web hosting plan so you have a place where you can place your site and construct your site what does that mean that means that the website which i am looking which is nothing but a sum of pages website is nothing but a sum of pages right so there are different pages which you can make that and clicking on to which uh, a visitor can view and see different pages and different content into it in order to have that you need to design it and you need to develop it what is designing the look and feel of the website name it any site you can you see there are two things which are going on i'll give i'll take the e-commerce example only uh, why not to take the example from all you guys only uh, name me any e-commerce site Achalata, have you made your uh, do you have your e-commerce site as yet yeah good so we'll go with fahariti.com only now that will be the best example to take sangeeta is doing home printers very nice i'll also check on this all right now this is the website right now what's happening is there are two three things going on once i look on to the site first these are different pages if i click on to this it will turn to a different page so this is one page this is another page this is another page this is the home page i'm on right this is the design which i look into it let me go to shopping and this is the information which i'm getting that it is on such and such dollars this is the name and this is the photograph and all that now why we need to have a web hosting place because we need to put the content physically over there in order to have that you have to understand that this page which i can view it right now or all, all of us can view it right now it is nothing but a pointer kind of thing इसे पॉइंट कर रहा है एट द एंड ऑफ द डे ये फोटो कहां पे रखी हुई है वो वेब होस्टिंग वाले सर्वर वाले फिजिकल एरिया में रखी हुई है ये प्राइस कहां से फेच हो रहा है सो व्हाट आई डू इज इफ आई क्लिक ओवर हियर द इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच आई गेट ओवर आई कैन सी इट ओवर हियर ऑन टू द होल पेज इज नॉट स्टोर्ड इन द पेज इटसेल्फ इट इज ओनली अ विंडो आई कैन ओनली सी इट दिस फोटोग्राफ इज पेस्ट ऑन द सर्वर व्हिच इज होस्टेड समवेयर For whatever hosting service I have taken, 
this name has been fetched from that the price has been fetched from that the quantity changes i make has been fetched from that and all that whatever i'm doing so how it goes that you have a domain name called pahadit.com then you have a website address where you can put all this information ki mere ko itne products banane hai us product ke liye photo chahiye hogi sir ye mere ko photo dalni hai i'm sorry i'm using hindi in between uh, just in order to have greater interaction then we need to put a name into it and then a rating kind of thing then a price and all that then in order to have it 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 on a synchronized way there must be a developer who will be developing it at a background and a background will make a system where and uh, going into one way a uh, photograph can be inserted going in another way the name of that product can be inserted and id can be generated product id a price can be done and these transactions happen so it becomes a coding or technical developing part and in order to have that they use various tools including uh, databases where the data will be stored handing the other developing coding part on the front end they can design it on a php or any other tool and this is how it comes right so do we understand the basic boundaries of how a website is i'm trying to define it on a layman term so that everybody understands so it is the website which we see is basically when we click something it basically goes like an arrow wo point karta hai point karke kahin pe database mein information hai wo information ko fetch karta hai aur leke aa jata hai yes now you have to understand Preeti, Asha, Lata, Mojer, Mukesh, Rajiv, and all other 24 guys who are there with me, you all have to understand one thing: that in order for us to have that, it will be too too coded, complex, and developing language, which we cannot do that. I mean, how will we do it? How will we make 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 it? we are not familiar with coding are we no so it is the difference of what used to be just go back a little year yes wordpress and that different hoga and what will be using wordpress today yes by cms so i'll give you a metaphor do you remember when when we were like in our teenage or even before that जब वहां पे दो होता था एक एम एस डॉस होता था अभी तो कोई यूज नहीं करता उसको आदर देन डेवलपर्स तो हम एम एस डॉस में लिखते थे माय नेम इज निखिल एंड ऑल दैट राइट और हम कोडेड लैंग्वेज यूज करते थे एंड देन इट बिकम्स अ ग्राफिक ओरिएंटेड डिजाइन वेयर यस दीज आर ऑल दीज सी एम एस फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पसेस मजेंटो इज वेरी गुड फॉर ई कॉमर्स आई कम टू दैट बट वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज दिस थिंग वट इज सी एम एस सी एम एस इज the the name of the CMS, but CMS, the content management system is is basically the graphic help, a tool, a software which is already made into pre-definitions and can be uh, customized as well uh, for the specific purposes. But it gives you an advantage of being using on a very graphic and layman terminology. राइट सो आई नो कि इस सी एम एस को मेरे को यूज करना है उस मजेंडो में यूज करो मुझे पता है कि यहाँ पे प्रोडक्ट ऐसे डाला जाता है यहाँ पे प्राइस ऐसे लिखा जाता है और फिर पब्लिश करा जाता है और वो ऐसे पब्लिश हो जाता है राइट बट टू राइट अ कोड इज नॉट आर थिंग सो दिस इज दी एम एस या इट इज बेसिकली वॉट पोस्ट डॉस द डिफरेंट ओ एस केम इन टू दिक्चर विंडोज बिकम एन ओ एस टू यूज दैट एंड दिस इज हाउ सी एम एस वर्क right now this is the cms where a hosted application have been made and using that applications you are basically putting things into your coded language into your server and this is how a site visitor can fetch those so do we understand what is that okay you want to zoom it i'm not uh, yeah so anil and ashalata babu padul everybody on page 
Now if I do it full screen, it will get blurred. That's why I'm not doing it. But all right. Now can you guys? Moses, are you able to get it till here? Rushita, Ravi, Rishigant, Vibor, yeah. So we understood what is CMS. Yeah, so WordPress is one of the CMS which will be used to make a site. It is good for blogs. It is also good for making general sites. So don't worry about that. They have recently come up with the uh, online store as well. So yeah. Fair enough. So now we'll do the practical thing. So I'll take an example of my my own site which I've recently made. Uh, I just kept it on to the installation stage. So we'll do it today. And you need to go to WordPress and you can have your site. Uh, there are two three ways of going about it first you need to book a domain let's say for example you go to GoDaddy or any other service provider and you have bought this uh, domain then you can take the hosting service from them only or can go to WordPress and then take the service from them so they have their web hosting service dedicated for WordPress uh, you can just purchase it from here or you can also go to any third party and take a web hosting service from them you can take it from HostGator which is a very good uh, web hosting service provider so you can take that from them you'll get a C panel to use over there a control panel there you can map this thing and you first you need to install a WordPress over there you can just install the WordPress and then you can map the two from there at the end of the day you will get a product that you will get a WordPress oriented site with a background and a front end how it's gonna be I'll just let you know like for example when you just purchase it you will get this So this is there is no graphics being put into it. I have deliberately not put into it. I've just recently bought it and just brought it in on the fair spare so that we go step by step and you learn everything how to form it. Right. So once you get this, you get this kind of this is the default theme which happens. And for any WordPress site, the admin is always the name of the site backslash wp slash admin once you do that it will ask you for a user id and password uh, which you have made uh, at the time of the purchase for all those for all you guys who will be getting the uh, website from dmp anyways you will be getting up to this stage so you'll be getting a wordpress uh, user id and password in the site and the background too uh, check it out right so and now the session will continue for almost two sessions uh, we'll go step by step we'll read about dashboard how it goes then we we'll go about creating post various post what different functionalities we can do it and simultaneously we'll keep on checking on to the front end of the site for what changes we are doing then we'll go on making different pages little creative way of doing it then we'll put different colors into it different backgrounds into it and then we'll see how the changes are done on the website then we'll go with the forms of putting up a let's say for example a contact form on all this we'll also try to use different third party services into it if in case we want some third party plugins to be brought and now these are the various topics we'll be covering right all right so let's start the practical sessions today uh, from now on uh, dashboard this is how you got to see by default 
uh, on a WordPress, you will be getting that theme which is called 2016. This is the theme on the front end. Uh, this is how it looks. I can delete it. Yeah. Mm, let me remove a few. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. All right. All right, friends. I'll also let you know that you can also go to the theme section directly. Though we will not be doing it today because I really want you to know how a site is constructed brick by brick. So we'll do every step one by one. But there are various themes which you can buy it from outside or from WordPress and there are free themes also available and you can directly upload it and then it will be converted into that theme but I will not recommend this to all you guys you can do it it's a very easy thing to do you can do it any any time but I request not to do it just make your site brick by brick because it's not a coding which you're doing so you can do it right so, so I really really request to all you guys to do it on your own first make a site uska look and feel itna crazy ho sakta hai na aaye jaisa aapko theme mein mil raha ho but even in that case it will be much much better once you know that then you can buy out anything what you want but do not first buy out a theme and then do the editing once you get a theme you also get a dummy dummy stuff with that all you need to do is you just need to go to a particular section we have to change that like for example this is the side or aapne iska dummy utha liya to aapko is tarike se dikh jayega ki yahan pe various tool bar mein tabs aa rahe hain and on that tab like for example you get this page yahan pe sab dummy text hoga all you need to go is at the at the admin panel you need to just change the text and it will be looking like this but i'll request again not to buy a theme first make us make this kind of site by your own and then once you know how to make a site you understand every nitty gritties make your whole hard work you have done your whole hard work then you are in a system of ch changing it and then you can do it right so everybody now on the same page i'm getting few messages uh You can just contact the admin for this. Lata is saying yes. Actually, Lata. What about others? Yeah. So why don't you just let me know? Will you directly try to fetch the theme, or will you try to make it from a pale-looking site like this to a crazy site? What you want, like this, which is nothing but a blog-oriented, boring site view. Yeah. So do that. All right. When you just log in, that that's it. Good, Kartikeyan. I really like to do it. Uh, you to do it right. You guys should do it by yourself. Anyways, when you get into it, this is how the dashboard looks, and in dashboard you will get this uh, different boxes. You can change different uh, boxes location as well. First thing. Yeah. This is the profile page. You can. I'll go one by one. The profile page. You can go to your profile. You can change the look and feel of the admin panel over here. You can make it light. This is the default one. You can change the color, right? And you can do it like that. And 
username you can fill your details and update uh, these are the basic details are there you can write down a little bit about yourself if you want to write down you can also upload your picture this will be always available on the website uh, whatever picture you want and uh, there is one more feature very good feature which uh, WordPress offers uh, which is uh, for example if it's logged on from a different computer uh, you can just keep the sessions log out uh, everywhere else if you click on this button how it goes is it will not be able to, you will not anyone will not be able to log in from any other computer so you are just keeping it reserved to you your website so you are making it more secure from this right so this these are the changes which you can do on on to going on to the profile section there will always be a top bar available like this for the shortcut so in whatever page you are you can just go and check out uh, the latest developments from here then there are different boxes at a glance is basically the summary of whatever is happening onto your site so it will let you know that you already have now one post and five pages onto the site if you will we are going to make a new post today so after that will be two pages if you make a new page that will be like six pages and all that so it will just keep you once you get into the dashboard rather than going in detail you can just take a summary look of it and just go to the direct section and make the changes it will also let you know which theme you are currently using it which is their default theme right now you can change it also going on to the theme section these are the activities on the right hand side will keep you updated about the wordpress news and all that which is happening uh, latest on to that so Rushita San, uh, Sangeeta Shravan Shubhin are we all on page till here we can also do is like for example you can change the position of it you can just pick the boxes over and above that if in case you want to dismiss you can dismiss that from here it's it's a welcoming note and all that you want to remove it you can remove it over here right so let's say i do not want this now on the top i want this on beneath so you can just change the positions you can also one more thing which you can also do always is onto the admin panel onto the screen you are you can just go to the screen thing and uncheck or check as in you do not want this like for example you do not want an activity section to see whatever you are doing it so you can just remove it so the activity section has gone you do not want at a glass section you can just remove it and tomorrow at any time you want it you can just click it we have removed welcome we want welcome section you can just click it right so you can do these things so this is how you can play around dashboard so everybody understood what you can do around dashboard we'll make the changes and you'll see how the changes reflect on the website but this is how you control dashboard yeah. uh, I on the last to last session I've been said that you guys want a little break in between rather than a continue to our session so do you want break or a few five minute break or something like that Asharatha doesn't want that uh, Asharatha majority I guess is winning over here uh, so let's have a five minute break we'll start at uh, 2131 basically yeah so we'll it's 26 right now we'll come after five minutes I'm here anyhow in the meanwhile you have any question for others uh, if you have any question you can just ask hello. me hello yeah this is Malik from South India Kerala yeah hi Malik yeah how are you sir I'm good you are Tell so me. tired you sound very tired no I have a very busy week this time that's why I'm sounding tired yeah, yeah, so many classes we give today, I, I believe so. You did not pick up the phone also, I tried to call you in the morning. 
all right no morning i was busy in my work uh, it's not only the classes which i take uh, like i also uh, have my own businesses and different works which i do different assignments so uh, i was really occupied into that actually mm -hmm. yeah fair enough i'm so sorry if i'm sounding tired i hope i'm not sounding pale at least right no no you sound very <laughs> sound very <laughs> No. So this uh, WordPress platform is very SEO friendly. Always we use WordPress or we use Magento, PSP.net, .net also. Yes, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I guess you should start with WordPress, but you should not limit yourself to WordPress. WordPress is basically good for content-oriented sites, uh, for a beginning level, something specifically if you're related to blog and all that. Uh, but when you get it to a more of an e-commerce way where you need to manage whole a good number of inventories and you just want to check it out on that then magento is the best way to look about it sir one last question is that we can do easily on page optimization for magento sp.net very easily very easily very easily very easily malik uh, i'll uh, see we'll be going one by one we'll go with the uh, website making first we'll go with the post like i mean post as in blog making then we'll go to the page making then we'll go to the editing of the pages and all that then we'll go to the editing part of video editing audio editing and all that into the uh, website and then mozilla will just come get back to you and then we'll go to the uh, search and engine optimization part and once we get into the search engine optimization part you'll see that it is very very easy yes but the results of the search engine optimization take some times to come because there will be yeah you can understand how it goes uh, so the result will not be reflected i mean if i get if i get a wordpress i forget a magento or asp.net or dotnet site done by the developer can i manage it myself doing all these on page activities inside in it no if you have a cms then you will be able to manage it if in case your cms doesn't support that then developer can only do that so if you have an asp.net site mm -hmm. Which CMS developer is holding you with? Everything. Yeah. But CMS is everything. Sir, like for example, if I have a PHP site, they can yeah. construct, they can develop it into a CMS. If they say that we are yeah. creating a CMS according to your wish. Yes. So if so your developer I'm, is I'm, making I'm, a, I'm, a, yes, I'll let you know. If your developer is making a PHP site, and most of these sites are on PHP. So if your developer is making a PHP site, and then is a, also making a CMS, which is self made i mean they he himself have made a cms then he need to have that kind of robust uh, developing tools which have brought into it and his expertise put into it that uh, i mean uh, the seo can take it into it so his cms will have a part of search engine optimization tools where you need to put the information and you need to optimize it but it purely depends upon his expertise of how he has done that and that is why the the cms are, are in demand rather than making the sites from the developer uh, these magentos and wordpress and joomla and shop uh, cart and all that these are in demand because the plugins which are available from them for seos are much more robust right so you can do it you are, you can ask your developer who is making a site on php to give you a cms With, if in case he buy an additional plugin for that or make it himself okay, will give you a search engine optimization thing uh, plugin sir, to do that is, sir, okay. sir, sorry to interrupt one last question from my side that in magento do we have a plugin for that and we can do it ourselves yes of course you can do it yourself in for magento we have that and we'll be using that this is what i'll demonstrate you uh once we go ahead with the making of the site the next step will be search engine optimization and we have a, a good number of uh, plugins for that and we'll demonstrate like i'm demonstrating it right now we'll have a one full session on seo so we'll do practical run and then we'll be able to understand it completely okay yeah so let's resume MSP. the session yeah no uh, no this is only for the break we are in that's why i have allowed the uh, speaker but i have been mandated by partshala that uh, you need to put the question only on chat right
हेलो 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 यस आई गेस यू आर सेइंग दैट यू वांट टू स्पीक आउटसाइड ऑफ द कोर्स यू कैन डू दैट यू हैव माय नंबर यू कैन डू दैट हाय सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस सेशन आई एम फॉर ऑल दोस हु वांट टू टॉक टू मी हैव सम क्वेरीज कैन टॉक टू मी इन दिस नंबर all right uh, ashrat i'll just answer one question i've been asked in between by mohesh one thing was wondering do we need to pay anything to the wordpress no uh you yes and no actually uh, it is the way you take uh, wordpress if you go with the rate that you buy a domain name not from wordpress from elsewhere so at okay i'll tell you this way there are three steps involved to reach it over here First, you need to have a. Donation. I have not received your number, sir. Sorry, I have not received your number. I have written down in the chat window. Uh, please do check it out over here. And let's talk now in chat. I mean, you guys, please talk to me in chat now till the time the session is getting over. Right? All right. Uh, there are three, four steps which are involved to reach till here. One, you need to have a domain name. second you need to have a hosting space and actually these two now in order to have that it is your choice now that you need to pay different vendors like for example you want to buy a domain name from from any domain service provider and you want to buy a hosting space from the other service provider and then install a free application of wordpress into your web hosting cms and then uh, reach it over here so it's your one wish or plugged into it wordpress is nowadays is also providing a complete package where you need not to go to a different uh, service provider for having a domain name you need not to go to a different service provider for web hosting you can buy a direct package so in that case you need to pay to wordpress and the amount for that is 18 which is somewhere around 1080 rupees okay so it it is entirely up to you durga am i uh, audible now Uh, Durga, can you just let me know quickly if, in case you will be able to listen to me now, so that I can move forward now. All right, I'm assuming that you may have. Uh, everybody else, uh, am I audible? durga it's getting okay uh, elsewhere so that can be a problem from your end can you just refresh it over there wait guys i'll write down a text for durga All right, I'm moving forward, Durga. In meanwhile, and she is not able to listen to me. Anyways, okay. So this is how the dashboard is, and then we'll go about understanding one basic difference of what is post and what are pages. Uh, they both have the header quality that it it can have header, it it can have uh, images, it can have text. but blog is mainly mainly of uh uh mainly it's article oriented listing it has the fundamental factor uh, of linking it into sub categories and categories and linking it through tabs whereas pages is basically a demonstration where you can put the content and uh, upload various media files over there
right uh, just hold on guys uh, how can i help you uh, All right. Meanwhile, uh, Durga uh, does that. We'll continue, but we'll continue it slow. Um, all right. So this is how it looks. Now this is the first post. So right now we'll dedicate uh, our dedication towards how a blog post. Happens. So we'll first concentrate about posts, then we'll concentrate about pages, and this is how a whole website has been made, right? You can see that hey, this is the title of the blog. This is what the blog has been written, how it comes. So in order to have a blog. You can go uh, to the post, then these are the posts which you can see are there. <clears throat> this is the post which I have kept it as a draft, I have not saved it as yet. <clears throat> so you can edit it or you can go and have a new post also. So you can go and click on add new and you can start writing over here let's say I write my December super batch I'm also writing it so that it becomes quite apparent for all you guys how to even do that so we'll go one by one right this is on to the standard format right now it is and then you write uh, like I'm surprised or let's say I'm happy to get just to go patch there are possibilities so it is like using a ms word right personalities from different walks of life thanks DMP right now this is the text part which I've done I can let's say want to highlight this I can select this I can highlight this bold and I then like this italic right I can make those kind of changes if in case in in your blog there is some code which is has to be written let's say for example just give me one code Anyone, anyone can say anything. I'll just put a quote from on your behalf. Just write down, please, a small line of your comments. According to Sangeeta, we're in the batch.
always plays. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Sangeeta, you are just uh, just to uh, mention in a lighter note. I just borrowed it from stay uh, hungry, stay foolish. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, good. Anyways, uh, so oh, father is going on to get it quotations right now. Father will be so you can write like this so the whole thing has now become into a block your kind of format right uh Fazul, i'm sorry i'm just ignoring it uh right now uh, your wala code <coughs> because i've taken one right and then okay there's one more thing which you can do uh, is is creating a backlink uh, since you do not have your site otherwise i would have written your name and connected it uh, but i'm just giving an example like for example i want uh, while somebody reads onto it if clicks in onto the, that name on onto that text should reach to a particular website so if i mention sangeeta's name over here and she have a site i can also provide a backlink to her so where if somebody clicks over there, reaches to her website or whatever website she want me to reach. Uh, Sangeeta, is there any particular website you want me to reach? I'm just taking examples so that you understand everything. So what you do is you select the text where you want to do go to an insert link paste the url where you want it to end and it is my recommendation that you should always check on open link in a new tab otherwise your thing will get disturbed and then add link I'll try to put various details I'm getting. This is I'm taking so that you understand that it can be a even multiple links which you can do, not only one link. Always say right so you can go to this what was ashalata's this ashalata can you just resend the link once again please for deepak i'll pick it from here which it is rishikant rishikant you have a what optical oriented site It's a great business. Can I disclose your margins over here? <laughs> All right, so you select this and I mean, um, Ashalata will be quite pissed off with you because I can understand that she may not be getting that kind of margins, but you will be getting. <laughs> But I'm just keeping things on a lighter note, guys. Just don't take it personally. Yeah. So what you do is you select over here, and then you paste it. You open in a new tab. You add link. Then you also go to Ashalata's thing. 
uh, name and then you select this you go to link you paste it you do this and then you go to you go to end those you go to link and you just do this so it is not done once we'll run it you will be able to see it right Now this is about putting a back back link. You can also remove link if in case you have you don't want it to continue. All right. Okay. Then you guys must have observed that. when there are blogs written like this and suppose it's it's a 10 line kind of blog you only want few part to represent and then a continue reading button comes where if somebody clicks it opens it fully right so you do not want to show the whole article a 1000 page article right on the top you want only 100 words 200 words on the top and then you want that a continue reading kind of button should come and once if somebody clicks that then only it should open fully uh do you understand what i'm saying about everybody is understanding so what button i'm saying yeah moses is not understanding you'll understand just remember that i've inserted this yes uh, fadul you can also link uh image I'll I'll give you an example once we insert image. Right now we are going on the text round. Once we insert image, I'll let you know how to do it. Yeah. So this is the thing. So what you have done is you have put a a little bit, a little bar over here. And let's say for example, yeah. Uh, you'll see when we go to preview it or when you go to run the actual. Uh, when you when we publish it you will be able to see what what does i mean more just remember that you have to check it out right okay now let's insert an image over here what do you do is uh, you can just go and upload the file you can select the file this is one uploading window which uh, wordpress app so you can not only upload jpegs or png files you can also upload pdfs or any other document which you want to upload so this is the one window how it happens there are two ways of going about it you can just go and click on to the select files and select that or you can also drag and drop i'll give you an example of drag and dropping so let's say i want this picture for example so and you just pick it from here and you drop it and it will come right so it will it will little heavy so it is taking some time but i'm checking this up and going forward uh sangeeta yes uh you should not con confuse me with mick badla i'm not that mick i'm nikhil grover uh i but you can call me nick if in case you want to uh and then you insert into the post why has it not come Wait, I'll just redo it. Okay. 
okay it has come so now this has come now if i want to put a link for that what i have to do is i have to select that and i have to reach over here I can also place it on the left, right and center. If I place it on the left, the text will come onto the right hand side. If I place it on the right, the text will come onto the left hand side. Wait. See like this. And let's say I put the URL digital marketing part channel and I add link. Right? So, are we fine till here? How we need to write the text? What tools we can use? Now these are the further tools you want to put a heading or you want to put a color somewhere onto the text. And all that and all that right you undo redo kind of things and all that yeah right now we are on a visual mode but there is another mode called text Durga I'm so sorry your comment uh, okay I'm not able to hear actually I'm sorry Durga I'm not able to help you because the things are fine and everybody is able to listen to you I'm really not understanding what can be the problem on your end although she has done that uh, Durga uh, why don't you try something on your end uh, if in case the things are not working fine you can just view it visually right now and anyways you can just recheck uh, anyway she has left forget it uh, she'll come back so uh, are we uh, guide on the page till here now this is the visual thing and this is how the coding automatically is happening on onto the part now this is the work of the CMS that you need not to put it that way uh, with various captions and all that you just only need to go into the visual thing and have to write down and this is how it comes into the coded language. Right. Now, for some blog writers, they do not want any distractions when they are writing it. A distraction can be uh, uh, the distraction can be like these side window uh, captions are coming the bar coming to help you out so for all those who do not want any distraction can just click on to it and it becomes like this so all the side viewing is view, uh, separated and you can concentrate over here uh, I need to write down a message for Durga just bear with me for one minute guys just hold on
All right, uh, I can't hold on for more. Uh, so I've written down to uh, Let me move now. Uh, right. So you can, if in case you want a distraction-free mode of writing, you can just remove the side panel from here. And you know, this. for whatever uh, new pages, new blogs you'll be writing down, new posts you'll be making it down, you'll always get a permanent link for that being made. So this is how you can also edit it and change the name of the link if in case you want to do that. Yeah. Now comes the this section. Yeah. Once I've written down the this thing, it is better advised that the post should always be under certain category because this is how you count into the once you do an SEO and all that. This is how it comes into the picture of putting into the various cats and uh, tags and categories. So if somebody search for that kind of category, it should come over the top. And if somebody is into your site and there are so many blogs and just want to represent one kind of category can read it. So uh, you have to select which category you want uh, it to be in. You can have various categories. Uh, I've already made one too. So why don't you just name me any category uh, of the name which I should add. And this is how you add a new category. Just name me. Durga, please name me any category where I should include in the blog. Others can also write down the name of the categories they want in the over here. Education. Education has been added. Quotes added. Artists. This blog is or this post is automatically added added into it. If in case I do not want it to be in one category or the other, about us is always is already there in the theme by default. Uh, uh, images. I've been said that I should add images. I'm adding images. Okay, now let's pick uh, this article for education. I'm removing it from quotes and images. Uh, why don't you just name a subcategory of uh, education? So I'll put it into the subcategory only and I'll let you know how a subcategory is created. Name any subcategory for education, please. Uh, I'm getting marketing. Oh, sorry. I'm getting. So, what I need to do is. Yeah. I need to. Uh, I need to. Go to the category. I should write marketing as a subcategory and then I need to select a parent for it and I've selected education as a parent and I've added it so it automatically comes under education right uh, I'm only taking one example so that uh, we have uh, less than minutes left with us so let's move forward okay. this is how you do subcategories and if you want the same to be in this and this as well, you can select this. Then this format I'll let you know. Right now it's in a standard format. Uh, about this I'll let you know once we go into the pages section. Right? Uh, but for the basic understanding, you can understand that these are the different representation which comes uh depending upon theme so this theme will have different versions of it uh if you if you select any a side wala version then it will be right now it's in a standard format and then it will come into an aside format there are few themes which we may not have a different uh, a, a great difference amongst it uh 
uh, into it so let's keep to the standard format right now we'll do once we complete the whole content part of it and then we'll check it out uh, onto the different formats right okay now uh, right now the status is draft in that it is uh, visible for public now you have three four options over here you can keep it for public and you can also keep it as sticking to the post to the front page what does that means let's say you are writing a post on a daily basis uh, and you have many posts into it into it but you want one certain post to be always represented on onto the top once i log into onto the site uh, this particular post should always be there on the top if i select this this will come this particular post will always come onto the top otherwise uh, post will always happen in a chronological order so whatever the latest post is going to be will be on the top and then the earlier one will go beneath that and the earlier one go beneath that so in, if in case i want any particular post to be always represented on the top then i need to select that if in case not then that not necessary okay there is one more option which wordpress provides you is that you can have few post uh, or i mean it's your choice how many posts you want you can have that post password protected so for example i really want only few guys to see that post but i want it to be on onto my website so uh, if i do that and i make it a password protective i need to write down the password and i need to share that password to the uh, to one i want to look into it so if let's say fadul has that password he'll be able to say it but subin doesn't have that password he'll not be able to say it uh, or if i want to make it private that is only be visible for private viewing but let's keep it for public only and all that right you can also uh, put a publishing date over here so you can publish it right away or you can uh, do it for the later stage to do it to go about it so i'm um, uh, in fact you can also predate it up to some extent uh, so i'm doing it this way and i'm going to publish it but before publishing let me check if i have not missed anything to let you know okay you can also check out the screen options over here and if in case while you are using that okay yes i have missed one function uh you can also like for example you don't want to look into the categories right now this is at the time of editing once you are writing down so you want few boxes to be there not boxes to be there you can check and uncheck like that now uh by default excerpt was not coming now what is excerpt excerpt is like on the blog the title will come right beneath the title the title is my december super batch now beneath that right now the blog the complete blog let's assume that it's a 500 page blog or 500 words uh, blog uh, and this 500 word uh, post you don't want to represent it directly you want to give a little like extra a little summary a little one line about it like like how a newspaper headings come right it over the heading it comes a basic two line or three featured lines about it beneath the of the article so it gets attractive about it so if you want to write a good excerpt about the article you can also do that so once you've selected that you will be able to see the window for excerpt and you can write down uh, wonderful numbers for example i've written this right and then you can also preview it or you can publish it let's publish it and see actually okay. 
you can also go and check from view post over here but rather than doing that i'll go to the browser page and check it out this is how it comes but we haven't put uh, tags into it i'll put the tag i've missed the tag uh, meanwhile guys you can just check it out on your browser as well or can see it from here this is how it comes right but i'll check it out on the yeah, yeah. what is tag tag is basically you it, how how you describe anything in one word or if somebody wants to search about this particular word you want your post or your content to display so you put tags for that it's like an hashtag which you use in twitter yeah main keywords and all that so right let's say i want to write about marketing or let's say digital marketing is the tag word tag i want education is another tag what i want to get trainees so let's say dmp trainees if somebody search for that should come so you can write down those tags and all that and update it so all this helps out in search engine optimizing optimization so put good number of tags for that write full tags and once search engine search for that uh, it help us out so for example if somebody is searching for dmp uh, you will be surprised that this can come on to the top and if somebody views that will be able to read about the names of the members who are into there and then may connect to, into their respective e-commerce sites or whatever content there so this is how it becomes can the keywords for hashtags and spaces uh, Sangeeta, this is not hashtag. I'm just giving you a reference that uh, these are normal tags used in a search engine. Uh, so this is normal tags when you can have spaces in between. The hashtag I was just giving an example how a hashtag activity works in a uh, in a Twitter. The same way uh, the property of tags are over here in website making, right? All right. So guys, understood till here. Mojir, Mukesh, Sangeeta, Rishikant, Preeti. So are you guys finding it interesting that you are getting into the website making mode now? But we'll go slow. Uh, we'll go slow. Final reveal nahi karenge. Dheere dheere karke we'll keep on building one wall brick by brick one by one. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have few more minutes with us. Uh, let's quickly touch into the subcategory of posts so this is how all posts are represented so you can check it out here this is the new post which has come so just all right once you uh, select this I mean go on to the highlighting this you'll see that there are various options which come uh, there is one quick edit which you can do in quick edit you will get to change the title put a slug slug is nothing but uh, a URL so you can change the URL uh, you can change the date if in case you want to do that and you can select the categories and all that so rather than going into the blog section which you have recently done rather than giving it into the full page and doing it you can just do a quick quick edit into it or uh, if you don't want to do it 
or you want to delete it so you can put it onto the thrash or you just want to view it if you put it into the thrash i do not want to put it i'll put this one uh, into the thrash so if i put it into the thrash you'll see Okay, it's in TV draft that I have wrong data and call. Check what happened. Sorry guys, the internet isn't in flow. All right, it has moved to the trash. Now what happens is, when you delete any uh, blog, it will come into the trash section and it will remain for 30 days before it will be removed from here permanently so you have 30 days to uh, rebring it or to make an editing whatever you want to do right Okay, then you can also manage categories by going into the subsection of post into categories. You go over there and if in case you want to add a new category, I, there are a few names which you guys have written to add the category. I'm just adding it right now. Online was one of them which I remember. Sl uh, even if you don't write slug over here, which is a URL. Uh, it will automatically come so don't worry about it if in case you want to do a particular mention then uh, you should write over here you want to make it a parent of something let's say i want to make it a uh, child of education you can just write on over here or to write any description you can just write on in description you can see that this is how it reflects you about the category details that education is one category which you have made and uh, it only have right now one blog under it and all that uh, you can also do a bulk actions over here like for example i want to bring uh, wait i'll just add two categories and i'll bring one so for example I want to make um, digital marketing and let's say images to be part of this. Or let's say I want to delete it uh, simultaneously so I can just select the both and delete it. So you can do bulk action over here. We will not be doing it. And then you add a new category. And you'll see the online has come as a new category over here, which is a subset of education. Yeah. So this is about changing in the categories you can go to the particular category section you can add new posts which you have just see how to go about it so uh, let's limit ourselves for today till post otherwise it will get a little confused tomorrow uh, will be i mean in the next session we'll touch down upon pages and and uh, also how to add different media files we have seen how to add uh, this uh, image 
uh, but we'll also try to uh, check it how to embed videos into it right so you can just go to the dashboard section and see so guys uh, everybody understood any questions please do ask me i'll be really really happy to do that and it can be related to the subject or else this is the oh, sorry it hasn't come sorry ignore this link it hasn't come complete this is where you can check it out durga you can just check it out uh, for videos wait guys uh, please fill the feedback form will only take a minute or two this is mandatory over here please do that it will only help you guys and do write the comment as well no <laughs> thanks vadul but just go to this link you'll get a form to fill it will be a small form just fill it down write down the comments yes so when it will help you out not in, for seo yes it is must uh, but once you do seo you will also get a window to write tags over there too uh, but write down at the creation of the page if you write tags it will help in seo on the one way and on the other side it will also help inside the content uh, inside the various content amongst the website so inside the website also it will help so my recommendation is you should put tags as many as possible or whatever you think is relevant um uh, mukesh mohesh kartikeyan shubhin shavan sangeeta please fill the form and do write uh, the content it will not only help us it will help you as well uh, what is so how name is linked to an image link see a name uh, or text will be linked to a backlink uh, i'll check it out and get back to you fadul about this uh, clicking on a name if, if any image opens or not i'm not sure about it uh kartikeyan uh i'll just pass on to this message to the admin and let's see that it reaches you and once you're done with the feedback link just write down done and then you make that please fill the form thanks for the others also please do that lokeshwar mohesh mukesh ravi sangeeta please fill the thanks ravi Ravi, how did you find the session today? I mean, you can share it right now here also. Everything understood. Thanks, and talk. Good. Nice. So, if you guys have any query, can just ask me. Moses, how do you find it? but again uh, you will be getting uh, and for everybody else uh, 
I last sent me to give send you the details uh, but as far as I know you will be getting certifications uh, Google certifications there will be I think six total certifications you will be getting uh, six Google certifications on AdWords AdSense and all that uh, also there are a few other certifications I do not remember exactly because admin will be sending you the list for that but you will be getting a good number of certifications for that If we join, can attend the class through mobile. Yes, you can attend through smartphone. Uh, I guess so, Karthikin, but I'm not very sure. Uh, I'll repeat that I'm only training over here, so related to certifications and all that, uh, you will be having Nick Batla's number and his details or however you came into contact with DMP, please ask those guys. I'll convey your message that you guys were inquiring about the uh, certifications. So they'll get back to you. Uh, yes, Subin, uh, this batch which, I'm, which are you currently right now runs daily uh, uh, every Sunday, 8.30 to 10.30. Uh, it'll have 12 sessions, but we'll see if in case one or two more sessions are required i'll be happy to do that but as a course it will be having 12 sessions two hours each uh, we already have done three sessions into it this is the fourth session i mean the fourth session is already done today uh, so there are remaining eight sessions into it uh, the course detail i'll ask them to send it across uh, this is admin related work i'm saying i'm only training so i'll ask them to do that uh, all right car keep is asking for the organizer's number i'll just share that with you it is with it is visible onto the slide i'll write it down it is nick Oh yes, sir. You are not able to listen. I'll update you whatever I'm responding. This is the admin number. I'll, I'll reply all you guys one by one. I'm just writing down something for those guys. That's why I'm taking time. She's not able to hear me.
Sorry guys, I was writing this to Durga since she is not able to listen to us. Uh, and I may have missed. Once you join the course, we got the yes, Karthik, and you will be able to see all the recorded all the sessions once you are into uh, roped in into this. Then I've got the love teacher. Uh, one question I've been asked that what are the earning avenues after doing digital marketing? Um, I'll let you know, may I know your good name, please, because I'm getting the name administrator over here. So, whoever has asked this question, may I know the I know your good name, please, over here. Venkat. Uh, Venkat, there are various earning avenues. Uh, you can start your own digital marketing agency uh, where you can make sites for others. You can uh, retain those sites. You can do post uh, delivery services for them, maintain those sites and earn out of it. You can you may have missed the last three sessions which are discussed but you can join on the further sessions if you do uh, uh facebook marketing we have done we have done youtube marketing so you can as an agency you can work for different clients to manage their digital marketing activities and the guys are earning good you can also join any agency and work as an employee with them they are also earning good you can also join any corporate uh, into the marketing and digital marketing team and manage their inventory uh, and manage their digital marketing so it just opens you quite a good number of avenues to earn and you can also teach like i'm uh, taking sessions tomorrow you can just earn anyway all right guys so uh, any more queries in the meanwhile uh venkat and Everybody else, I request you to please fill the feedback form. And once you are done, just write it down. Done. Uh, we are towards the end of the session. Once you guys fill the feedback form and say done, then then we'll end the session. We'll extend this, uh, Venkat. Uh, we will concentrate right now on WordPress site making. Uh, today we have covered only one part of it of how to put a post into your site uh, then we'll go towards making different pages uh, and a complete website then uh, we'll go in search engine optimization of those sites so this will be covered into the next session uh, Karthikeyan is saying that uh, yes of course, in fact, in real estate, it will be a great help because if real estate is, a, it's an expensive product, but it's too much in demand, and there is great number of competition, and your intelligence toward digital marketing comes into the play. And uh, I'll tell you one more respect. Uh, wait. Karthik can just give me two minutes. Uh, what I was saying is, yes, uh, uh, this I've shared on the last session as well. Uh, Karthik and I'll maintain in every session that digital marketing learning, which we are doing it right now, should not be only limited to learning how to operate the tools. Uh, as a good digital marketer or as any marketer uh, which is a part of digital marketing is also a part of marketing you will be appreciated and you will be it becomes a more helpful once you Once you uh, put in, that, see, learning a tool is only 20%. It is your base of how you do it. You probably would have missed the last three sessions. That's why uh, you're not getting that kind of confidence that you'll be able to do in your area, which is real estate. Uh, once, because in the last three sessions, we have discussed the communications part of it, of how to promote it in a Facebook 
how a campaign works, how it looks, how it sees, how much you need to pay, you know, how it goes with the YouTube. Do you check YouTube, uh, Cardigan? Do you surf YouTube? Hello? Yes. Uh, Nikhil, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, see, I'm in real estate. I have some client base of suppose 10,000. Okay. Uh, can we increase? Uh, see, these people are not looking for an uh, apartment in, in around Bangalore. Uh, yeah. Is it any possibility where I can keep this 10,000 and uh, using the Facebook or any other method where we can increase this? Yeah, of course you can. See, but uh, a one-line brief will not be able to help you out. You need to have a detailed brief of what the business is, what are their plans, and how you want to grow it, and what is their budget. Uh, depending upon then you have to take various modules. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, onto the communication section of it, YouTube and everything else, this will help you. Mm -hmm. uh, email marketing can help you for sure. Uh, Facebook promotion. Email marketing is something I heard about uh, nurturing a client, drip marketing, those kind of things. No, if your client is already into uh, real estate and you're just handling the activities of selling it more unit, number of units, then you have to practice these kind of audio. Uh, nurturing may and may not. I mean, then you have to contact offline with different portals through which you get their email IDs, uh, authenticated email IDs, and given permission email IDs. And then you can do that. I'll request Karthikeyan to just check out uh, the audio video versions of uh, my earlier sessions, email marketing, Facebook, and YouTube. How do you get the link? How do you get that? How do you get it? Uh, I'll just share the link, the, this one. Uh, I'll, I'm sharing it again, wait. You can just check out into the link. So whatever sessions we are taking, uh, it will be there uh, into this link. So you can just go into this link and check it out. Okay. I'll, I'll share you. I'll share it with you. Wait. Yes, yeah, suppose, uh, suppose if I enter for a course. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah tell me. And, uh, suppose uh, I can attend the other courses, I mean, other persons, uh, suppose Saturday they have a course for a training session. I can attend that person? Yes. For, uh, I mean, if other trainer is giving the session on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess you uh, can. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I I'm sure that you can. But you need to talk to. Uh, so, so I'm, 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 you send a mail to me, right? Uh, that is also Nick, right? No, I'm not that Nick. This is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm. Uh, your number is different. Uh, when I spoke to another person, Nickel is five double zero is the last number. Where I can talk to him like that? Yeah, th that's yeah, a different person. Things. That's Nick Batla. He's the main guy behind Digital Marketing Bachara, right? So okay. he'll be able to help you out in, in this query. Uh, I'm just a trainer over mm -hmm. here. So my duties are only to, in the session of 8.30 to 10.30, I need to train you guys. So I'm a teacher in one way or the other. But the main guy behind, but the main guy behind uh, this uh, is Nick Batla. Uh, you can just talk to him about the certifications, about how it can help. But I can tell you for sure that this will help because you'll be able to revisit it through audio videos or whatever sessions we are taking. We try to bring important points into it. Do not try to waste your time. Also not trying to do it very less so that you do not understand it. So we're taking topics one by one and you'll, I guess this is one of the best courses available in the country at such a, such a, you know, competitive price. Uh, so. no, what I wanted is, uh, suppose if I have a, at least link of uh, different uh, session recorded, yeah. whenever I have a free time, I can get out for it. I did not to come at the exact time and wait for it. But I this is a link, link or the link of all the videos. Okay. okay. Ah, so this is the thing, you can check it out all the videos over there. But a live one-to-one -one session has its different value. Uh, and now it's entirely up to you how you want to move about it.
because if you are not subscribed to the plan you will not be able to check out all the videos there will be a limited access to the videos you can have so this entirely up to you but i'll recommend you to spend you are anyways looking to uh, help your agency uh, help your different clients uh, i don't think so that spending 7500 is too much on this i mean it is quite quite I mean, quite quite dirt cheap. In fact, I wanted to join some uh, course, almost in the middle of it. Yeah. You are in the middle of a another course. This what I think. Yes, I already done digital. Maybe almost now it is in email marketing company. I doing yeah. online reputation management. <laughs> Till when I see this weekend kind of videos, then I am interested to take up this course. Okay. That is all. Right. Hmm. Can I say it's up to you now? I I I'll yeah, still yeah. recommend you to check it out uh, and you know go with the. I mean, go with the plan. Even if you have done it, it a different trainer taking the session, and sometimes different topics covered which may you may not have covered can help you. uh okay. but it's entirely up to you you can have a one or two demo sessions and then you can decide on your own but i'll recommend you to spend that and go about it i just wanted the organizer number you can oh yes i'll just share it with you you can talk to him actually yeah i'm just writing it down right Have you got it? I just read, write it, uh, written it on the chat. It is Nick Batla, right? Nick number I have written. Ah, oh, he's the main guy. He's the main organizer. Nick Batla, right? Okay, I have his number. It's come in the mail. I'll just check with him what all is there. Ah, oh, so. Or any, you have a separate team where they can work for us also, like you know, totally uh, uh, like. I think Nick will be able to help you out in this. I mean, they are able to tell you. Small project, you know, thing, thing, a small website is there, and after that, we want to develop from there, getting the lead something like that. Now, I joined a new company into sales and marketing. So, marketing is also in my head now. So, I have to suggest them what to do, what not to do. Okay, if in case you want, you can uh, arrange a con call. Uh, asking them that we are working on your behalf, and you can just—I uh, mean, Nick will be able to help you out in that. You can arrange a con call, and if in case he is required, he can fly plea down to help you out. And okay, okay. Something like just marketing. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. All right, Sorry, thank you. Time up and. No, it's okay. Yeah. any other uh, friend of mine want to ask anything any queries Durga, you'll be able to open it. Oh, Babu, Shavan, Shobhan, Sangeeta. Any query? Or have you done with the feedback form? If in case you have, you can just. Uh, I mean, I wish you can take the leave. So in the next session, Shubin will be continuing with uh, with this thing. We have covered post right now. We'll cover. Yes, yeah, Shavan will cover uh, pages in the next session. 
we'll continue with the website making in the next session yeah yeah thank you thanks Anita. uh you guys can leave i'm just waiting for durga about chatting with her because uh, she was not able to listen so uh, if in case you guys want to uh oh, you can just see i'll once have the confirmation with durga and then only i'll take a look at All right, so bye-bye, friends. Um, it's time to go. Let's catch up next in the next session. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Good night, friends. Thank you.